morning and welcome to Gaya Bonsai. It's the 6th of February 2024. Rather a grey, dreary day. So what I'm going to do is um, finish sorting some of my trees out, getting them ready for the growing season. And then hopefully once the nicer weather gets here I'll have plenty of time to paint my benches and get a better display area sorted out ready for next year so I've got a couple more um, to pot up this is a Chinese elm which is going really nicely so I can do some more shaping on that and pop him into a larger bonsai training pot and then I've got a Japanese Zelko over there which is making quite a nice thick trunk so I can prune him up and pop him into a nice deep bonsai pot so I'm looking forward to working on those shortly I've also got quite a twiggy willow so I think I'll repot him into another a full size seed tray for growing on for another year this is my little area of trees I've been working on so there'll be some upcoming videos for those so these some of these I've repotted and trained a bit to go into bonsai pots so they're just in the little sheltered area here while they recover and then this morning I'm going to grab a couple of trays of various plants I've got some oaks there some Chinese bird plum and lots of pine so I'll take those in I'll tidy them up have a look see if any need repotting and trim the roots up a little bit there we are back in the relative warmth and comfort of the kitchen now so I've got two of these um, nice trays here um, basically I think they're just like um, watering trays basically really but they're quite deep that's about two cent two inches deep by about 20 by 16 I find they're like a perfect size for doing repotting and everything and then it keeps your main compost tray, tray which is like the green one I use all the time it keeps it free from any debris so I've got my tray, first tray so I've got a bit of a mixed bunch here I've got some evergreen oaks which are growing quite nicely these are from seed last year so I've got several of those although this one's at the back it's not looking quite as healthy as the others uh, got another pyrocanther in there I've got some of the Chinese uh, bird plums another pyrocanther, another pyrocanther, another pyrocanther and a little lonesome pine so basically what I'll do with these is give them a check over for any debris, pests etc I'll knock them out of the pot and have a look at the roots if I've got any that look like a nice for future bonsai then I'll pop those to one side and just have a general look that looks quite well rooted so I think what I'll do with these is repot them in the in the same pot but I'll put some fresh compost on the top for these I'm not get any rid of any uh, weed seeds as well so I won't prune the roots on these just yet I'll leave them to grow on I think another season so I'll just get the compost off the top pop him carefully back in the original pot firm him down and then I'll just top it up with some fresh compost there we are that's the compost sieve some perlite some grit so I just mix this in carefully so you can alter the mixture according to your climate uh, Cornwall is quite wet a lot of the time so you do want something a little bit more free draining down here and the perlite helps to keep the moisture in and it also like absorbs the um, feed as well so it helps with the um, feeding of the trees so that's a little batch mixed let's get the little trees and just pop a little bit on top of there give that a jiggle 
and then what I like to do is put some of the compost that I've already sifted on the top just like as a top dressing to finish the pots off nicely so I'll just tuck a little bit around the tree there just to finish it off so let's tidy those up got rid of any weeds and debris on top of the pot and I think they'll be good for probably another growing season in these so I'll just carry on and finish the rest of the uh, evergreen oaks off so look at my little paracanthus, I've got four here. I did try a couple in the seed trays. So you can see I've got nice white root tips. What I'll do with these is just tease any debris off the top. Like so, that's got a nice curve in the trunk. So I'll leave that as it is. It's another one, I think this one was one that got flooded when all the trays got full up with water in the storm. So I'll just tease any dead leaves, check for slugs, etc. Weeds. There we are. It's the third one. Let's get the debris off the top. It's got quite a nice little root base, a couple of nice little branches growing. So, as you know, they're more like um, shrubs to a paracanthus, so they will put lots of branches out. Have a look at the last one it looks like the pot's got flooded as well so I get the debris off the top some nice roots coming there so I think what I'll do with these is put them into uh, a nine centimeter pot to grow on so I'll just tease the roots a little bit just break them up a little bit on the bottom What I'll do the size a little bit, break it up a little bit. And I think what I'll do is just snip those longer roots off, break the side up a little bit. And I think I'll grow these on for potential future bonsai or Maybe someone will want to buy a couple. I'll we'll see you later in the year. And so I'll just break the root ball a little bit up. And just cut the longer roots off. So I do quite love these from seed actually. They germinate quite well. So if you want to see how to germinate the seeds there is a seed grow video in my channel there we are put those to one side. so these are the next size pots which are nine centimeters square i think it's nine centimeter deep as well so that'll give a little bit of extra growing room there with the amount i pruned off the roots as well so they've come out of um, seven centimeter square pots so this is usually the next size up I use so I'll just put some compost in the bottom grab pop him in check him for height compost on the top and what I'll do is just tuck that in with my finger nicely Put a little bit of top dressing on and that will be finished so i'll carry on and do the rest that'll be the little pyrocanthus there we are this one's another japanese larch i can tell by the buds now i mean identified both the japanese and 
European so that's another one going from C so that's coming to make a nice little tree so I'll just pull the old needles off there got a weed in there and I'll just pop him some fresh compost on the top pop that one I'll just top him up I don't usually put any of the um, compost topping on the pines I like to keep them a bit on the drier side so the um, sieve compost topping that's mainly for the uh, deciduous tree got some pines I grew these from seed last year so these are the Aleppo pines so I've got a, a seed germination video for those I can just about make that out so what I'll do is rewrite the labels and just get the debris off the top and then I'll just top dress them with a little bit of fresh compost I think I'll leave these to grow up there's a bit of a mud on in there so let's pull out the dead tops that's starting to sprout from both of those actually so let's top that now it's probably had a caterpillar making a nest in there so that's a little at Palo pines they're going quite well it's got a nice little side branches they haven't set terminal buds these ones as you can see they've been growing very slowly um, throughout the winter so I don't know if that's a characteristic of those or just because they're seedlings anyway that's a brief glimpse into me um, putting on some little seedlings tidying everything up and uh, just waiting for the grey season to take off so I hope you've enjoyed this little update as I say there's many more um, videos coming in the pipeline so I hope you'll uh, like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and I look up Look forward to catching up with you again very shortly. Goodbye for now.